Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the best hemp fest ever! Welcome to Hemp Fest, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Come Andy. You were somewhere else and now you're here. Thank you for being Welcome here. If you got fest. some money, put it in my box. <laughs> We are at the 28th annual Seattle Hemp Fest protestable, the Fatty Freedom Fest here. Uh, we've had about 100,000 people at the event all weekend and three and a half, so four and a half stages of music and speakers and a huge symposium tent with panel discussions uh, and more freedom than you can find in Amsterdam. And we're just raging it because to us, legalization means nobody's still in jails and prisons for cannabis. And that's not where we are. So this commoditization is a step in the right direction, but it's not legalization, and we're not going to stop until it's legal. And that means nobody's having their kids taken away over cannabis. Nobody's losing their freedom over cannabis. Patients can have access to the cannabis safely and organically that they need and the strains they need. Um, and the DUI laws are sensible and not this crazy DUI law that we have now. Um, so we've been in this 28 years, which is a lifetime to some people, and uh, we're going to have to keep doing it no matter what. We're under attack. We're in court with the state. We're in court with the city. We're fighting Expedia, the travel giant that's denied us access to the service road we've used for 25 years right now. Um, so we're fighting on a lot of fronts, uh, but you got to fight for your right to hemp fest. This kind of stuff never comes easy, and they don't make it easy to you, and they don't hand you the permits on a silver platter. you got to work hard for them. Uh, but that's what we're about, man. We're about the four, the two, and the oh. Free the plant prisoners, expunge criminal records, and reunite families. Cannabis. I call it cannabis. Oh, I call it medicine myself. Personally, I call it medicine. I call it ganja, herb, and medicine, the remedy. Cannabis. I call it pot. I call it weed. Um, well, now it's called flower. Yep, uh, for a long time, uh, I hesitated on using flower because it was always pot or weed. But as concentrates and other different edibles and everything became more prevalent, we had to be more specific. So for the most part, I'm calling flower flower and oil and concentrates kind of their own thing. Mary Jane? Mary Joanna? Weed. Uh, we call it weed. I, pot, marijuana, weed, pretty much everything. Medicine? Oh, smoked turkey. Smoked turkey. The thing that allows me to work and not be in a corner crying. Yeah. Medicine. Uh, I call it bud, grass. It really depends on the person I'm around, honestly. I call it cannabis if it was derived from the cannabis plant or hemp if it's derived from the hemp plant. I call it cannabis. I call uh, all hemp cannabis now. Weed. <laughs> Pot. I call it cannabis. I like to call it cannabis. I feel like it, it's uh, a more diversified thing. So when I say cannabis, it says to me that it's hemp, it's all of the derivatives of it. When I just say weed, I always think of just the, the, the plant material. Uh, I like to call it ganja. Uh, I call it weed. Weed. Kush. Marijuana. I say kush, to be honest with you. Depends on how we're feeling. Yeah, I'd be like, hey, you got the weed? Hey, you got that? Yeah. Or loud, you know what I'm saying? You got the loud? Yeah. I call it weed! <laughs> but weed, yeah, pretty much weed. Weed, yeah. yeah. Weed. Weed. Bag. 
Weed, usually. I like cannabis or medication. See, Hempfest is working. It is. <laughs> Poppy! 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 Quasi. Very quasi legal. What kind of. It is legal, but it's not legal. They think it's legal, but it's not. We have so much work to do. The federal government, it's not legal. So that's what we need to work on. Yes. But not for everybody yet. Yeah, I'm legal. Well. Not everywhere. Weed is legal. It should be. Oh yeah, 100%. Yeah, as far here. as I know. Not where, where I'm from, no, but here, yeah. Almost. No. no. I can buy it, but I can't smoke it outside, so. Ugh. We live in Phoenix. No, it is somewhat here, but still, no. Yeah, not There's everywhere. Still fear and concern. And people are still in jail. Which is horrifying. Yeah. Is it legal? Oh, it is here in Washington. Yeah, fully legal. Well, legal to smoke. Yeah. It it is legal depending on where you're at and who you are. In my mind, it's not legal until we can grow at home a few plants without accountability to anyone. No, not yet. But we're getting there. Yes, here we are. Not really. No, and it should be a human right, and it has been basically taken away from us, and as we begin to believe that it's being legalized, instead it's being stolen from us by corporations and bureaucrats. Is it legal? Yes, it's legal. It's legal in many states. Uh, it is legal in Washington State. Yeah. I yeah, think so! Yeah. yeah. Well, it is in Washington, yes, and several other states. It is not legal. It is, um, uh, I really don't like the recreational law. I feel like it was a stalking horse to kill the medical law and shut down all our dispensaries. It's not legal. I can't grow it. My version of legal is not people in jails and prisons for cannabis. My version of legal is we can home grow our own right here in Washington State. My version of legal, if you can walk down a sidewalk and smoke a cigarette and blow it in my path, I should be able to walk down a sidewalk, smoke a joint, and blow it in your path. My version of legal, if you can go to a bar and you can buy some brew and you can sit there with somebody and drink it, 
you should be able to go to a bar or lounge and order a dab or a vape pit, right? That's my version of legal. My version of legal is you can do anything that alcohol and tobacco people can do if you're of legal age as a cannabis person. My version of legal is there's not thousands of people in jails and prisons they are taking your kids away and they're making you piss in a cup. That's my version of legal. And so until they let everybody out of the jails and prisons, we're gonna be doing hemp fest. Times and partners forever. They taught me too the culture of cannabis. And then eight years ago, right over the hill here, we passed out our first dope magazine. Eight years ago, right now. So we want to thank everybody because in cannabis, can cannabis connects everybody and is connected for me for the longest time and I've met some of the greatest people and I think there's a lot of people in this room right here that really believe in freedom, believe in the power of the plant, believe in continue to spread the love that's needed right now, right? If you could do your own part, then do your own part. And I also want to really thank all the folks that have entered into the Cannabis Cup. These are some of the most trusted brands in cannabis. And we should, you know what I mean, really give them a round of applause because it is not very easy to get something from a seed all the way to what you're smoking in your, your bong or whatever you're smoking in right now. We have Debstract with Orange Skittles Live Resin Tax Pod. What's up, all? So come on down, down guys and get down. to stage time. Right, well, much love to all you. Keep it stony, man, and be safe and be good to each other. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the winner of the Cannabis Cup for Indica Concentrates here in Seattle 2019 goes to Sub X for Cold Smoke GMO. Cold Smoke GMO. Let's go. Sub X, are you here? Where you at, Sub X? Is that them? Sub X? Come oh, on down. Oh, I like this. I like this. Hey, are you all registered to vote? Does anyone need to update their address? We got cool buttons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one of those shops. And the Cannabis Cup winner for Sun Grown Flower here in Seattle. 2019 Cannabis Cup goes to. Anything that tastes really, really good. Right now, the purple punch from Serious Buds. With my friends. I guess, just with my friends. Gorilla Glue. What? Number four. Number four. Um, Indica. My favorite strain. I like, I like just OG Kush. Classic. Um, I like, um, I couldn't nail it down to one specific strain, but I like the hybrid uh, flower uh, with a little bit of sativa and indica mix. So. Sativa. <laughs> I like Space Queen by Artisan, and I also like Hawaiian Space Golden Queen. Pineapple by, uh, oh, yes. by Fat Panda. Mm -hmm. It all together. Yeah, all of them together. Oh, that's hard. Um, Sexy Star. Yeah. It really makes my herniated disc like go down. That was, that was a good find. That was a good one. Sexy Star. Yeah. I don't have a personal favorite strain of flower, but when it comes to dabs itself, um, Black Label Orange Kush, that's my absolute favorite. I brought it to Hempfest three years now, and that's the one that all my quarter monster friends are like, oh, that tastes so amazing. So 
that's the that's the shout out I gotta give is to Black Label for their dance. My favorite strain, uh, well, it depends on what I'm doing, but I always jo love a good dosi dough. Dosi dough. You know, that's hard because strains depend on mood. If I had to pick one, I'm still partial to the old Super Lemon Haze. Yeah. Everything. <laughs> I don't have a favorite hat. <laughs> I would have to try them all. Yep, I practically like everything. But I do like Northern Light the best so far. Mazar. I personally don't smoke a whole lot. I actually prefer edibles. As a chef, I feel like ingesting really helps me and gives me a more balanced high, and it is truly the medication I need. It depends. I really like home grow. I'm from Colorado, Denver, and um, I, I enjoy growing and smoking what I grow. Now, I do dab uh, mostly. Uh, I prefer the oil over the over the weed. I like that AK-47 kind of shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, indicas. Yeah. Yeah. Indica, definitely. Yeah. 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 Gorilla glue number four. I mean, I like all of them. I like, I fuck with the Gorilla Glue the most. Okay, don't laugh at me. I'm on the core of hemp fest. I do not smoke. I believe in the medical part of it, totally, and everybody else can do what they want to do. My favorite strain is blueberry. But really, I have to have a bunch of different strains because I build up resistance so fast. I gotta switch back and forth, back and forth. So my favorite strain is lots. <laughs> Lazy Bee Gardens, the Powder House. Lazy Bee Gardens, the Powder House. Wherever we are today is nowhere compared to where we're going to be in five years from now, and we only get there by taking those steps forward. Yeah. yeah. And then in first place for the Indica Flower Cannabis Cup. Drum roll. Dot and Yeti Urban Farms, Forbidden Fruit.
He had been in a wheelchair, barely living, because he was in pain and zoned down on narcotics from a car accident. I had told him that the only way he would be able to consume enough cannabis to heal himself was if he grew enough medicine, and he had to grow his own. And so he started growing for himself, and sure enough, with copious amounts of medicine, he was able to wean off of the opiate pain medication and has become a productive member of society once again. And I wonder now how he's doing since the law has changed and he can no longer grow copious amounts legally. But I don't give a parade, it's been a truck over the haters speaking up for gay They don't stand a chance, out of luck today Getting left for the foot stuck in a muffled face We can't stop now, we're moving, shutting the block down Forget the time coming, it's all about now So put your fist up, put up a hot round We gon' ride, tell them stop, let me not fail don't give a damn about what you say Or what you think about me So best believe I'm not good listening No, 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 not a thing Come on, I don't give a damn about what you say Or what you think about me So best believe I'm not good listening No, 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 not a thing Come on Oh, Hempfest, I would just say uh, thank you for allowing us to come here and build and grow my business and interact with the public. Uh, thank you to all the volunteers and everybody that no makes it happen. That, I would like uh, everybody to know. <laughs> I, would like, uh, I would like the entire Hempfest staff to know that they were played a critical role in the success of my business. And I just look forward to uh, doing my part in the future to making it all happen. I love you. Gotta keep on keeping on, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> yeah, they changed my life. Vivian and Gary, I blame all my pain and anguish on you, and I love you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Um, I appreciate y'all having us and having a good place, a positive environment to smoke, you know? That's great. Yeah. You're doing good. Doing great. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for existing and allowing everyone to come out and both experience one another and experience things they normally wouldn't. It's a great mix of vendors and activism and you guys are fantastic. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for fighting for us. We really appreciate everything you do to help, you know, make it so we have rights and we can have medicine and things that really help us out and stuff. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, thank you guys for everything you've done for me, everything I've been able to do here, five years running now. I've made some of the fucking best connections I've ever seen, met some of the best people from all over the world. I've met people from my own hometown, every place that I call my hometown, up here in Seattle where I didn't grow up, so it's amazing here. This place is truly a big part of my heart. Thank you for being you and coming out and doing this every year and bringing a beautiful community together. Thank you so much for all you do. I look around and it's a miracle that a, an event like this ever is even possible. And I, and for the advocacy that you show and the good work that you put in, um, you just raised the good karma in this city remarkably. Thank you. This place is awesome. Happy Hempfest. Keep up the good work. I love you. Party on. <laughs> Thank you, Hempfest. This is my eighth year. I got my start here. I couldn't do it without you. And that's why I continue every year to continue supporting all the wonderful people, all the volunteers, and all the people that have continued to push towards legalization, normalization, and a way of life that we should be able to follow every day by allowing a plant to grow in our lives. I'm Chef Jeremy Cooper. I think that's a positive one. Yeah, it's here. I don't know what's behind there, right? We're having a great time. We're, We're loving time. it. Thank we you guys for it. having Thank us. Thank you. I uh, keep doing what you're doing. You're awesome. Yeah. yeah. Thanks Thank for having me. We love it every year. Yeah. <laughs> I love Hempfest. I love Seattle Hempfest. 
the protestable roots of Hempfest is what inspires me the most. I think it's uh, it's been crucial and fundamental to the cannabis movement, not only in Washington, but around the country. I, uh, Hempfest is one of the, the greatest events that, uh, that I attend. I love Hempfest. I come here almost every year since I've known about it. It's been a real great help and an outlet for me. Uh, thank you. I mean, this is amazing. I hope we continue on. I just love meeting all the people and checking them in and being here. Period. Oh, man. I love Hempfest. I've been sweating for Hempfest for 23 years. And the Hempfest family is my family and all my closest friends. Oh, yeah. Keep fighting, we need you to support Hempfest on our website, hempfest.org. We need you to come by our store and offices at 3220 Northeast Lake City Way. We need you to visit our, hemp, our, our, our website and our Facebook as well, uh, which is Seattle Hempfest on Facebook. And keep the fire burning, man, and keep that freedom nug ablazing. Do you need a water, love? <laughs>